I seeing double or am I seeing a mirage? Or maybe a facade? I'll explain what I mean in the latest Got By True review. Well, hey all, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, your most humble of hosts, Dennis Moulton, a.k.a. Gapa. As always, man, please like, comment, share, of course, subscribe, and while you're at it, loud them up, baby. Hit that notification bell, please. Helps me out a ton. Let you know when content of all sorts goes up here on the channel. Check out Machinery of Man, The Everything Factor. A whole bunch of groups that I'm either an admin for or a mod on. All that's linked in the description. Check out all my social media, also linked in the description. If you're in a position to help the channel to grow, you can use the donate link. Check us out on Patreon. See what we offer to you through Teespring. Or, of course, you can hit the join button right here on YouTube and become a channel member. And this is... Thanks to friend of the channel, Grimlock On. This is the Netflix Wave 1 um, repaint of Mirage. It's Decepticon Mirage. Now, Wave 1 of Netflix never came to my neck of the woods. First nor last, man. And you'll probably hear me say that a couple of times through here because I can't believe it was completely skipped. So, if it wasn't for someone like him and his kindness, honestly, I would not have this at all. There would be no way for me to have it. But is he good? I love the original Siege one. How does this stack up? And what do I mean when I say facade? Well, we're about to find out when we head over to the table and take a closer look at this guy. And yes, indeed, so today, thanks to friend of the channel Grimlock Gun, we're getting an opportunity to look at something that never did come here first nor last. It is, of course, the Netflix War for Cybertron Trilogy, Wave 1 Mirage, who I am going to re-envision as someone else. Uh, cool. Excellent. I'm really glad that he was able to, uh, you know, kind of send this guy along, because I think he looks beautiful. We'll talk more about that. That being said, he does come with something that I'm actually not going to have any use for. We'll talk about that in a minute as well. But before we get into any of that, we're going to begin with that old packaging first. Uh, again, it's your typical packaging. We have a Decepticon logo inside over here. Here he is with the Decepticon logo. Uh, product images on the back, very a la Earthrise Siege-esque. And we have your typical artwork here on the side as well. Netflix Mirage, blast around the top. Siege Mirage, blast around the bottom. They're the exact same thing. The Netflix one is cast in a darker gray. That's it. Same with the shoulder piece, the Netflix Mirage on the top, the Siege Mirage on the bottom, the exact same thing. The Siege is done in a lighter gray and black. The Netflix is just done in a darker gray and it's all done in that gray. And neato, simple, clear instructions. I wish they were always as clear and simple as this, honestly. We got a piece of, I think it's Teletran 1. Uh, look, it's cool, it would be lovely to have all of these and actually do the, the set for it, but there's no way. It's impossible for me to get all of these because the waves and stuff just haven't come here. Like, it's not, it's not even possible. Plus, I'm not buying everything from the uh, trilogy. I, I just I don't need it. It's as simple as that. But if there's anybody out there who does want to need this piece, let me know, man. We'll work something out because I don't need it. And yes, indeed, here we have Mirage and Mirage. Now, the Siege Mirage, I adore. I looked at that guy in episode 611, and I think he is fantastic. Some people have complained about the clear plastic and tabs breaking. I've transformed this guy a billion times, and there's not a stress mark. There's not a thing. I don't have an issue with clear plastic. I don't know what everyone's problem is with it. I've never encountered a problem with it. Maybe it's an environmental thing. I don't know. I also compared that Mirage to the Combiner Wars and the Classics in episode... Uh, 617 when I really focused on the classics but long story short I love this Mirage I think it's fantastic now the new one again it too you would think is going to be fantastic we shall see I'll say this the new one has significantly more paint that's why I'm okay with like the shoulder piece not having the paint because it's slathered all over the body of this guy. Shout out, by the way, to Sean Hawkins. The guy is the voice of Mirage in the War for Cybertron trilogy, and I've talked to him a few times now, and you know what? The guy is super enthusiastic and a super nice dude. I digress. 
Here they look good. The Netflix version is one of the cases of like an homage to that one scene, that one time in the show. But there's different things people are doing with the Netflix one. By the way, he rolls all right in vehicle mode. He too rolls all right in vehicle mode. What some people are opting to do is either get like a, a shattered glass Autobot logo and put on his chest and make this guy shattered glass mirage. Totally see it. You can put him with your shattered glass Earthrise Optimus and Ratchet. Or I think what I'm probably going to do is keep him as a Decepticon, have him be the evil twin of Mirage, and I can't give proper credit here to the person who came up with the name. If you <laughs> if you're out there and you see this review and you're the guy who came up with the name, hey, let me know. I'm going to call this guy Decepticon Facade. I like the name and I'm cool with him just being like an evil mirage. Maybe somewhat maniacal. I don't know. Let's have him be like a assistant to Shockwave. You know? Eh, maybe. Maybe. Kind of. Sort of. So this is beautiful. There's a ton of paint here. Yes, it's in that like, you know, worn, damaged sort of coloring. The big black splotch there I could probably do without, but like the purple I think is paint and the silver is paint and I think there's a lot of paint down here, man. I really, really do. Now, since we did the transformation, originally going from the way he comes in a package, robot to vehicle in episode 611, we're gonna have the opportunity to look at it in reverse here and see how it goes. So. Before I really give any grades, we're just going to do the transformation first. We split the... Oh, by the way, I guess I should mention this. There's two 5mm ports up there. I mean, you can take the shoulder piece and place it in there. And you could take the other blaster and place it in right there. But that's really it for accessory storage and vehicle mode. So, you split these and you split the arms and kind of open all of that out. Then you can there separate these two pieces from the body. A lot of people have probably cracked the clear pieces because they tried wiggling it. I, I don't find with the clear one I need to wiggle it. They they tend to come out of the two little rectangular slots here, no problem. But on this one, maybe because of paint, I don't know. I do find I have to wiggle it a little bit. We bring this out and we bring this out and we split these lower leg pieces. We take the tire piece and flip it to the inside. We bring the leg down and we extend the foot. We bring all of that down together like that. And I guess you could turn it around if you're so inclined like that. We again over here flip the wheels in, bring this down, flip out the foot section, bring it all the way down and rotate it there like that. Then we come to the body and we can collapse it. Oh, sorry, before we collapse it down, we have to flip the head out from behind. Then we collapse the body down. There's a little rectangular tab there that goes into a little rectangular port uh, just above his waist on the very lower tummy. That solidifies the body. Then we take these tires and they flip in and flip in on the back. I think that's genius. I love the way those tires were handled. We bring the arm over, we bring the arm over, we bring out a hand, we bring out a hand. We can take the blaster piece and put it on his shoulder and the other blaster piece and put it in his hand. Naturally, he's sideways. When we stand him up, he goes off screen, so we're just gonna readjust. So. Here we have the two lads squaring off against each other, or it's a mirror image, depends on how you're looking at it. I'm gonna say the paint apps are 10. I mean, it looks like the way he did in the program. We don't really have a G1 comparison to make of it. So, pff, 10 for the paint apps. It's a matte look, but like, I think that's deliberate because it's supposed to look, you know, battle-worn and battle-tested, so you wouldn't have a shine and luster of something that's new, so I dig it. The transformation, I think that the transformation is a solid, if it's not a 10, man, it's a 9.5. I mean, the way the legs are done, where the front of the vehicle kind of collapses in behind the leg and you rotate the tire around and all that is involved, but interesting and 
really cool and after doing it once or twice it's intuitive. Some people have complained about the tires hanging out on the back of the legs. Uh, collapsing it would have been nice but I, I, I still like the way it was done better than any other Mirage that we've had. The upper body is again I think brilliant and easy. Now a lot of people again have complained and said you have like a false torso there and that hangs out on the back of the race car and looks silly. Again it doesn't bother me but I understand the criticism of it. The way the tires are done the back tires, where they fold into the back, but they also fold out to become the back tires. It, it leaves um, like no chance of hollowness. He's filled in and he's solid. I love it. I, I, subjectively, I understand the criticism of a couple of things and the QC. Objectively, I feel like the engineering theoretically is brilliant. So, kind of balancing the two, while I want to give it a 10, I do understand that some people, you know, do have certain issues with it because of the way certain things were handled. So I'm going to say it's an eight and a half. I really want to say ten, but I'm going to say it's an eight and a half because I have to acknowledge the fact that yeah, there is a false chest, and that, you know, that could be considered a cop out. The tires don't collapse behind the legs. That could be considered a cop out. So I, I get it. Objectively, it's a little bit lower. You know, I'm going to say nine. I, I, eight and a half is just too harsh for such a good transformation. I'll say nine, but I want to say ten, right? My mind says nine, my heart says ten. So overall, right now, the guy's a nine and a half. What about the articulation? It too is pretty tremendous. So we come here, and the arms can go all the way around, way out to the side. Even this piece can move all the way out if you want it out straight. We have an elbow to 90 degrees for sure. We have a bicep swivel. The, there's no wrist rotation, unfortunately. We do have a waist. Uh, we do have legs all the way back, legs all the way forward. They can go, you know, do, get that out, do splits all the way out to the side, no problem. Uh, the rotation is built in the thigh, which I love. We have 90 degrees. Mm. Yeah, 90 degrees at the knee for sure. We have uh, an ankle tilt, and I guess we have a little bit of forward and back as well. So, oh, and the head. I didn't do the head. The head can go left, and it can go right, and it wiggles up and down, but that's it. Not much. Uh, it'd be nice if the head could move up and down. It would be nice if the wrist had a rotation. Outside of that, there's nothing I could fault on this for articulation. I'm going to say it too is a solid nine and a half. Overall, this guy isn't perfect, but he's the next thing to it, scoring an overall mark of 9.5. And here we are once again, and here they are. Look, first things first, I think the Mirage is fantastic. I have heard rumors, speculation, nothing confirmed, but speculation that we may get a two-pack in Kingdom uh, with a a reuse, a remold of this to be in Earth mode. I'm not sure what you would remold on it, but I don't think it's for me. This is pretty much an ideal Mirage for me. Uh, some people don't like the clear plastic, and I get it. They would probably just make that not clear plastic, but like, if you really don't like it, paint it. I don't know. I love this. Uh, I wouldn't be in for that. However, this repaint is a little more interesting. There's, as I said, a couple of options. Some people are putting an, a purple Autobot insignia there, a shattered glass Autobot insignia, and they're going to have this be shattered glass Mirage. And who knows, maybe if I ever get my hands on a shattered glass Autobot insignia, I might. You never know. But my plan for, at least right now, is to have him be Mirage's evil twin brother. Kinda. Sorta. Uh, and he is going to remain a Decepticon, and he is going to be Decepticon Facade. As I said earlier, I don't know where the name Facade came, comes from, man. Somebody came up with it, and I read it somewhere, and I wish I could give proper credit. I don't know where I read it. Not a clue. Don't know. If, if it was you who came up with it, man, let me know. Um, <laughs> you know, the transformation, still excellent. The articulation, still excellent. I do find that the hinge here that the tires are on is a little looser. Would I say there's mold degradation here? Not at all. Really, not at all. I think it's really well done. Um, love it. I love the original Siege, love this, very, very thankful that Grimlock On was generous enough 
to send it along my way. Let me know what you think about the Netflix Evil Mirage. I appreciate you guys coming by and giving me some of your extremely valuable time, man. I do know how important it is to you. If you're in a position to help the channel to grow, you can use the donate link, check us out on Patreon, see what we offer to you through Teespring, or of course, hit the join button right here on YouTube. Become a channel member. Hit the subscribe button while you're at it, man. Don't forget that somehow, someway, each and every single solitary day, every moment of every day, you do make a difference. And I look forward, baby, to the next time that you and I get together to have another visit either in the live streams on Thursday nights at the stop motion premieres or the old fashioned way right here inside the videos.